This is the Kikasui range of programmable power supplies. They're 1500 watt units and also 750 watt units, all rack mountable in a 1U package. They're auto ranging units, so the 1500 watt unit that we've got here, which is the 1500 ml, will give you 0 to 80 volts, 0 to 56 amps, but uh, limited at 1500 watts. So it gives you a wide voltage and a wide current, but you've just got to stay within that 1500 watt limit. Uh, they've got other voltages in their range. There's a 30 volt unit, a 230 volt unit, and a 650 volt unit as well. Uh, what we're going to show you today is actually how to use these units in a master slave configuration and turn these three units here into just one single 4,500 4, watt power supply. So, what I've got to do is We'll just turn the units on so we can show you them running independently here. So they're all just sort of booting up here and uh, we can see this unit on the top. We can set the, uh, the current here at a maximum 58 amps currently. Um, this is the 56 amps mentioned here. 58 is the maximum that the display will show here. And on the right hand side again, we could crank this all the way up to 80 volts. Now let's just turn them off to start with. And then we've got to connect up the master slave communication cable. So let's turn all of the units on again. Now we need to make a few changes to the master and the slave. Uh, first of all, the master unit. Now we've got to tell the master that um, that it's got two slaves. So what we do is we press the config button on the front here. We go all the way to CF1. And on the right hand side, we want that to display the total number of units. So here we've got three. You can have up to four Kikasu units in parallel, uh, but for this one it's just going to be three. And then to get out of that, we keep pressing config until it goes back to the main menu. Now, the other two, the slaves, we need to tell these that they are slaves. So, again, config CF1, and then we're just going to turn this until it says slave. and then the, the bottom one as well. Okay. Right, now we've made all the configuration changes, what we've got to do is recycle the power. And when we go to turn the units on again, uh, master first, and then the slaves just wait for that to recycle, go through its uh, menu sequence now the bottom two units are going to show the slaves the top unit here is, gonna, is the, uh, the master and if we go to the set menu we should be able to see the maximum current set there of now 176 which is a little bit more than the, the spec says it Kicker series always a little bit generous. Uh, so that's three times the 56. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll we'll put an electronic load on them and show them show them running. Okay, so what we've done now is we've rigged up a Kikasui electronic load um, to work with these power supplies here. This is going to draw the current from the power supplies and it's going to draw the combination of the currents so if we go to the power supplies again we can now achieve at least well, 170 odd amps with all three of them um, we've got the electronic load here um, which can draw up to 200 amps we'll turn the output on on the power supply I've already set it to 5.6 volts we've just got to control the master and it looks after the slaves here now we can see the voltage appearing in the electronic load. A little bit of a voltage drop because the uh, leads probably aren't as thick as they should be. 
now we can start drawing some current so if I turn the load on straight away we're drawing 10 amps and I'll quickly just crank up the current and we can go all the way up to 120, 130, 140. So there we go, three Kikasui PWX power supplies operating in master slave parallel control.